All right, so this second question is more involved because it seems to only have one question at the end, and you got to read through it to understand what the heck is going on. But AP likes to do this every now and then, so let's practice. Okay, so we have this draw class, which puts everything on a 10 by 10 coordinate grid. So the first thing I tell you is you already have this... Um, you already have this draw line feature that's done for you. Um, it will draw a line between x1, y1, and x2, y2. So this already works. So if you see 2, 5, 6, 4, it takes the point 2, 5, and 6, 4, and connects them with a line. Um, so that one already works. It just doesn't show you how they did it. So what we're going to have to do is draw a square. So there's some restrictions on it, though. First of all, the good news is whenever you see preconditions, you don't have to write them. You know the answer they're going to give you from X will be on your grid. The number they give you for Y will be on your grid, and the length has to be bigger than zero. Um, and it starts in the upper left corner of a square, and then it draws a square of side length if it fits on your screen. Okay. So, for instance, here's one that works well. Um, if they go 1, 4, 3, it means you start at 1, 4, and you have a length of 3, 1, 2, 3. And it goes across and down and over and up. Um, and then it prints out, this print statement will be easy to do, right? You just square your length and write length here. Okay, the harder part is what happens if they give you one that's too big. Basically, you don't just scrap the problem, you reset your length, because here it says, Go to 6, 8 as your top left corner and make a square of length 5. Well, you don't have room for 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, you're out of room. So if it's still going to be a square, you need to go 4 over, 4 down, 4 over, 4 up. Um, and then the other issue would be, what if it's too close to the bottom? So if you go to 7, 2, and it says have a length of 4, it would be nice and all, but you don't. You can't go down four. Even though I can go over three, I can only go down two. So I need to reset my length to two, and then, um, then I can draw it using this uh, drawing feature. Okay, so it's kind of tricky, but we're gonna have to write something that you start with a the top left corner and a length. So the thing that troubles me the most is. Oftentimes, you'll have to reset the length. So I need to write some if statements to handle uh, resetting the length. So when I look at that, um, I definitely need an if. So in my if, I want to deal with the fact, let's deal with the first one first, like up here. If this goes farther than it should. So if you look at this, I start at 6 on my x. I'm just looking at x first. I start at 6. And then if it asked me to go five over, it's going too far. Four would have worked. So if my total is 10 or less, I'm fine. But if it's bigger than 10, I need to reset the length. So when I go back here, if I do x plus length, because they give, oh, I have to write length. Oops, I got to spell it correctly. If x plus length is greater than 10, I need to reset my length. Um, in order to make it fit. So how do I reset the length? Well, I could simply do if you look at it. What did this length turn out to be? Um, I'm going to ignore the length they gave me. So I did six plus five is bigger than 10. And then what should the total, the biggest length I can make? It's it's always going to be 10 minus the x part. So 4 would have worked, right? I get 4 by taking my total length of 10 minus the 6. So I'm going to say length is reset to whatever 10 minus the length is going to be. Okay. Um, did I do that right? Did they say 4? Let me see. Oh. They have L-E-N. Okay. My bad. I'm like, did I? I was writing the whole word length out, but really this should be len. All right. Just imagine I didn't do that. Okay. Now, 
that will reset the length to four. Um, then I need to handle the Y part. Okay, so you're doing a similar thing on Y, but be careful on this one, because on the Y, you know, you could go four above two, but this is drawn, since it's the top left corner, it goes down lower. So I want to make sure my number doesn't go into the negatives for my X or Y. So I'm going to say if, um, let's see, do I want to do length minus Y or Y minus length? I think I want to do, yeah, y minus the length. So if this one was a 4, if y minus the length turned out to be negative, so how do I write that? If y minus len is less than 0, then I'm going to reset my length to be, um, I'm just going to set it to be what y is, because you're finding distance to the to zero pretty much so if it turns out to be negative see how the length got reset as y and that'll always happen okay um so that part's pretty tough now why did i use another if because i wanted to check both of these because check out this last one um this one it didn't have room for four anyway so if it's running through my code it would first say all right um if I added seven onto uh, four onto seven, I'd be at eleven. So I have to reset it to ten minus seven. So it's going through this part of the code right here. So it's bigger than eleven or bigger than ten. It would reset your length to ten minus um, seven, which would be a length of three. And then it still checks this one. Now it goes, oh, if two minus three is less than zero, which it is, it's going to reset length to two. So all that was just to reset length to the correct size. After you reset length to the correct size, you're basically going to draw a square. And for this, I need to go back up here to draw four lines, basically. I'm going to do a draw line for my starting, my top x, y, and my two endpoints. So if I picture this, um, it's going to start with x, y. That you get in the problem. So I'm going to go, okay. So now that I did my resetting of length, now we're going to draw a line and it's going to start with um, with x and y and then my next x is off to the right. How much off to the right? This is only if I wanted to do in this order, but I'm going to go from here to here, which has the same height but it's x plus length over. So the second x coordinate is x plus len comma y. So that's my that's my top left to top right. So I'm drawing this line right up here. And now I gotta draw the other line. So that's one line drawn. I gotta do this three more times. So now maybe I go from up here to down here. Okay, so um, so now I'm going to draw a line, and I'll start at x, y again, because that's the top left. Now if I go down, but I keep the same x, now I'll do y minus lin. Okay, so that goes from up here to down here. And now I'm going to go from this point over to here. That's the point I just wrote. So draw a line. I'm going to start at x comma y minus len, and then I want to move over to the right. So here's x and y minus len. I'm going to move over to the right, which would be x plus length, y minus length. Okay. Okay, and last line, draw line. Now I want to get the top right. That's x plus length and plane y. But I need to draw it from here. So I can draw it from down here to up there. I'm going to start with the x plus length, y minus length. That's my first point. And then, so that's the bottom right. And I want to go to the top right, which is x plus length and just y. 
So I drew my box. Awesome. I had to reset my length, draw my box, and now I have one last thing to do, and that's to print out uh, the square side length and area. So I'm going back up here. Um, so we'll do system out print line. I'll put it down here. You can barely see it at the bottom. System dot out dot print line. And we're going to go with, um, what are we going with? Uh, we're going to say side length. Space equals space quote plus len. So it'll work in every problem. I don't want to put a two there. And then, um, and then we're going to do plus quote comma space area space equals space. And then I can put my final plus. Um, I need to do squared. So you can do squared one of two ways. You can use you use math.pow or you can do uh, len times len. And for this case, it takes less room to write len times len, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, awesome, huh? Um, you could have done math.pow and raised it to the len comma two if you wanted. All right, so hopefully you know, that clears that up. That was crazy, especially this part. There's a lot of mental gymnastics that go in here. This whole thing is to reset length. And then you got to be able to draw the picture too, which is, you know, a whole nother thing. So I hope that makes sense. Um, even if, you know, you want to skimp, you want to get every point you can in here. So even if you just knew how to print out the length with in the area, um, you know, you get points for that, even if you just knew how to use the draw statements and you didn't know how to do this. Um, you could get most of these points without getting the ifs right, because you could get that line, that line, that line, that line, and the print statement. That's a lot of the points in there. So anyway, hope that made sense, and I will talk to you folks later.